Hold on, can oh, we? Sorry. We do have one question. Sure. Here, let me let me post it up. And and I guess I'm gonna have to read it because it's a little little longer. It says I like the silhouette version for cutting by color, so you can put more than one color of paper on your mat. Can you do that on the Explorer, or are you limited by the way the Explorer has it set up? It seems like you have to put all put. Seems like you have to put one color of paper in on the mat at one time. Well, I, I guess we can we can talk about that a little later. But I think that you can. Uh, we showed it before, Ken, on how you can yeah. put papers on your mat at the same time and cut. Correct. Yeah, you absolutely can can do it. You um, all you have to do is put all your, your images on the mat and then you attach it to the mat. So you absolutely can do it, and then you can cut it with one one pass. All right, so let me share my screen here. Okay, so when you log into the Explorer, the first thing you want to do is set up a virtual blank canvas because you want to kind of see where you're going to be positioning your images broken down. So I always pick a blank canvas, and this is under your set canvas, and you're going to hit Done and it's going to pop up here a box. It should pop up a box, and it's not popping up. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. I apologize, guys. It's basic cam. It's, I, I apologize about that. So, And you want to make sure it's set to a 12 by 12. I was going to the one right above it. I apologize. And once it's on a 12 by 12, I always just change it to a light green color. Um, so that way it's just so I can see it. So you want to make sure it's 12 by 12 and just hit update canvas. So there you go. So I also turn on this little 12, uh, this little box up here you're going to see. And that gives you inch by inch increments here. So that kind of gives you an idea of when you're placing images, how big your image is. So once you have your virtual mat set up, this lets you know a 12 by 12 mat. Um, and don't worry, this will not cut. So you don't have to worry about turning off this, this canvas or this virtual mat. It just is giving you an idea of where you're going to put your images. Next thing, you just need to insert your images. So we will just pick this little bear here, insert images. And you want to size him first. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and size him to about, right about there. And then you're going to ungroup this guy. And then you can move your pieces wherever you want to on your mat. To whatever areas you like to. And it looks like, for whatever reason, this... And this are different colors. It looks like it's a different shade of black. Um, and then the important part is obviously knowing where you're positioning your paper on the mat. Because right now, if I was to hit go, Design Space is going to automatically figure out each layer and print each or cut each layer versus the color of paper. So the question is, is how do we do it in one pass? And the way you do it is you're going to select all the images, and the way you do that is by hitting the Select All option. It's going to select all these images that you have on your mat, and you're going to hit this Attach button. And what that does is it attaches all the images to where you have them exactly on your mat, and basically says, attach them to this virtual mat. So now when I hit Go, it's going to cut them. Oh, I actually have to change it. There we go. It's going to cut them exactly on that mat. So now it has a little lines here. I can position my paper here. I can position my paper here. I can position my paper here, 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 and it will cut it in one pass versus the five passes it normally would have done. So that's how you do it. And so it looks like the attach is locking all the pieces on, on the mat, and they're like frozen, and they're grouped, I guess, basically grouped together. Correct. That is correct. All right. She has a follow-up question. She says, um, do you have to buy the Cricut Explorer membership in order to use Make It Now products? 
She said she did see uh, your video on how clean the cuts are. So you do not need to buy the membership. So um, when you but it could do, save you money though, right? If you do buy could. the membership. Correct. Yeah. So when you do Make It Now projects, you'll go to this screen right here and Make It Now projects. Um, so basically, if you're you're going through here and you find a project you like, and you let's say go to this Ann Griffin, it basically comes down here and it tells you how much it would cost. So if I wanted to do this project, it's going to cost me five dollars to make this specific project because I would have to buy each of these items. Now, if I did any of these other projects, so let's say this one here, I purchased all of these items. So for me, I already have these items. I can just hit make it now. So technically, no, you don't have to to you don't have to um, to purchase anything. There is some freebie. So if you go up here to this drop down box and go all the way to the bottom to free. That will bring up all of the design space options that are free. So these are the ones that Cricut has um, given you that are free and don't cost anything. So these are the ones that you can try out. Um, and they, they rotate, I believe, monthly um, for free. And then, um, of course, when you buy your Explorer, you get uh, 60 days of membership for free as well. So... Uh, she, she also has another question that was grouped in that same paragraph. She said, do you think they will ever come up with as many design options and file options that the Silhouette, student, I guess Silhouette America has? And that has the crickets growing? Um, I, I think eventually they will. They just released, if you realize, looked at just recently um, in their Design Now projects, um, for example, this one is the first time I've seen where they're starting to release other people. Like this one is from something called Vintage Rivals or Revivals. So they're just now letting third-party designers come in and start releasing their own designs in the Make It Now projects. So I think now that they've started doing that, um, we're going to start seeing a lot more in their um, their Make It Now projects. So I do think we're going to start seeing more in their design space. I just think that because Silhouette Studio has so many designers in their um, subscription, uh, they have a long way to catch up because Cricut for the longest time was just releasing cartridges. So I, I just think it's going to be a little time before they can catch up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rosemary said uh, thank you. Thanks a ton. So yeah. I guess that answered her question. Perfect.